Can I be stone? Can I be high? Can I be blazed? Can I be dead? Can, 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 can I be real? Can I be real? <laughs> <laughs> Pussy, you can still that. What do you know in here? Don't know what you with your girl stairs. She wanna, I'm a hit that. Come on, marijuana, all these niggas wanna smoke. You can sell it if you wanna, you can flip that. Baby, do a last and go kick back. Baby, you can pull it to the kick back. What up, what up? We are live at the Lincoln Lodge podcast Ooh. studio. Um, this is Can It Be Real? Um, I'm Kadeem, aka the Bammer Burner, aka Loud Never Quiet. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, and I'm gonna introduce okay. my 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 esteemed host, thank you, thank co-host. You. Um, I'm Kel the Comic, aka Blorilla. Blorilla. Crazy. I had an AKA. I was proud of that. <laughs> you brainstorming uh, for months. What, what do you mean? <laughs> Since the first episode, <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, I gotta have an AKA. <laughs> I need one. I can't keep going this kale. Listen, oh, oh God, I've been getting feedback about it. Anywho, um, and today we are reviewing the Chronic Laugh Show. Chronic and Laughs, stand up comedy, stand up comedy, Chicago's yes. premiere. What? 420 show. Okay, okay, okay. Who my co-host is one of the producers one on of the there. producers, um, the creator of it, the founder, you know, but I can't okay. do what I do without my amazing team. So. Okay, and speaking of amazing team, we have here with us today... Andre Austin. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> AKA Dreezy. Oh, <laughs> Dreezy. We got an AKA too. The guest has an AKA. You came out it. the gate with one. AKA. <laughs> another one. I'm so glad I had an AKA today. Imagine. <laughs> 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 Okay. Well, how are you feeling today? I'm Dreamy. feeling good. Um, I smoked today. Um, I actually kind of messed up and um, almost told my like big boss that I smoked. <gasps> you told uh, your big boss, not yeah, the little boss. Yeah, because uh, we, you know, for those of you that work from home, you know, Zoom, and they have the, the feature to do the breakout rooms. Yeah. We had this like department meeting where we had to go in these breakout rooms and um, I picked this breakout room because there were these two people that I didn't want to be with so I ended up kicking myself or what's it called shoot myself in the foot and then I ended up in in a breakout room with my big boss and we had to answer these questions and one of the questions were what are some things that you collect so I said magnets because my partner and I we collect magnets when we travel and then I said lighters i collect lighters and then she goes are you a smoker and i was like i was like something like that (laughs) 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 she's like my dad also collected lighters but he was a smoker and and Uh, and i guess he uh would smoke in the car with them and the window would be like like this big but like i kind of outed myself to my big boss so but also is she a victim of child abuse i maybe (laughs) i was gonna say hopefully she doesn't have lung cancer because that's she had to be the 70s nicotine one like that back in the day like the febreze it was just a little windy it wasn't that bad they definitely well she never clarified what like the smoking smoke okay. yeah so i just i just said you know i'm a comedian it's social sometimes you know here and there but yeah. I'm but the way she made it seem like she's like we were like this in the car and I was like oh, <laughs> days and blaze I, yeah I just wanted to keep that it moving that sounds like child abuse because yeah. I like job security okay you know can it be real does not condone child abuse even if it's the highest of the week. We don't do <laughs> oh we don't do right, yes. Kids cannot give consent. <laughs> that okay. is true. Listen. Okay, but so both of you guys are producers on Chronic Lab. We love this show. Tell us a little bit about this show. Yeah, so let me give a little history. Yes, you know, let's get some history. Say, yes. It's all about the, the history, history right? Yes, yeah. let's so, talk about it. Um, I started the show in May of 2021. Um, it was my first produced show um, in the city. Like, I haven't really... I've been doing stand-up for, like, five or six years. So, at that time, like, maybe three years. Mm-hmm. So, I was like, I needed something to start just, like, getting more time on the on the, on the the mic and just trying to do different things. I've already smoked weed. <laughs> and I was like, how can I bring, you know, the stand-up element to it? Um, this actually started... Um, before it was Chronic Labs, it was, a, it was another show called Mask and Laughs. Oh. Um, yeah, there's a history behind it. It was oh. me. Tell and uh, my dealer, it's crazy. We were just smoking in my whip, right? She was like, man, I was telling him, like, bro, I want to get bigger at stand up. I need to get a little bit more active. 
One of your crystals fell out. I, know, it fell oh, out. I can't tell this though. This is bad energy. Right? <laughs> right. The ancestors said it's, no. No. We are leave not the past in the past. past. <laughs> no mass. Okay. Just and it's no out. more. <laughs> and it's no more. But no, tell us more. So yeah, we were just in the car and I was just telling them, like, yeah, like I said, I want to get better in stand up. Um, you know, we were just smoking. He's like, Yeah, man, I got access to this space called the Pilsen Art House. Okay. It's a dope vibe. We do a lot of cool things. And so I was like, yo, bro, let's let's see if we can do something. So he connected me with the owner of of it at the time um we got along hit it off really well i told her my plan so um we did that maybe six months before the first chronic laughs and it was a complete shit show it really shit show. we started I'm like why didn't i hear about math and laugh? it was one and done it was okay. like this is awful. it was awful. okay we was outside there was like maybe 10 15 people we started like 45 minutes late um, I had it was six comics. I brought three of my comics that I knew were funny. Okay. The my my <laughs> my um, dealer slash you know business partner. He <laughs> brought three of his his people. Okay. And they were a little new. They okay. were a little new. All right. And everybody's supposed to do fifteen minutes, right? So I'm like, that's a lot for that's a new a comic. Lot. That's I ridiculous. Was three years. I, fifteen Ooh. was a lot for me. I was, okay. feeling, I was talking to one of the guys. He was like, Yeah, man, I just started. This is my second time going up. Like, why are you here for fifteen oh, yeah, minutes? 15 Minutes. Complete. Were y'all paying people? So open paying mic people. Show. People were getting paid, so <sighs> we end up. We we end up going through it. We okay. end up going through it. Everybody that's why did the crystal okay. Jumped out. Yeah, <laughs> she was there with Christmas been at the show because it was it was rough. <laughs> it started rocky, but it ended up going pretty well. But I, after that, I realized there was a lot of things we had to do. Okay. Um. So you know, revamped it six months later. I started again. Okay. Um. With Chronic Labs. Yeah. Um. That was that was a sold out show. We had like maybe sixty people at, at the art house. Okay. Um. And then we've just transitioned. We started at Pilsen Art House. Then we went to Collab. Um. On the south side of Chicago. Then we went to Chiba Hut. Um, we're gonna review Chiba Hut soon, so y'all let y'all learn more about that. Um, and then we also now are currently housed in the Lincoln Lodge. Woo woo, Lincoln Lodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now Andrew's been with me for it's been two years. So uh, how long you've been with Chronic? Um, I would say since September 2021. Um, which to me 2021 was like peak yeah, pandemic. Like, oh, yeah. like yeah. you know, Wild Wild West. We wouldn't even yeah. be out there. Well, yeah, yeah. And I y'all was. That's mm-hmm. where that the mask and laughs came from yeah. because it was oh, like pandemic. Okay. Sure. Ish. So you, how many people did you actually have at that show? Um, Fifteen. Three people walked out because we waited too long. That's crazy. Cause I actually remember when Chronic Life was at Pilsen Art House, and the one I was at, I was like, "This is amazing." Yeah, this we have great. We had created a formula at yeah, that point. I think okay. when you did, we had like seventy people, which was at the time was, was our insane. biggest show. That was yeah. a great ass show. Too. And people could smoke. So the whole point was just a free space where people can enjoy comedy. They can smoke. We had vendors. We had people that were selling um, infused food. So Tacos. if you were, it's like a stoner's paradise, which is what I want. Um, and it, it it came to it came to pass, and it's been it's been rocking ever since. Okay, that's yeah, dope. That's I like the the evolution of the show because we have experienced a lot of changes, and um, from the art house in Pilsen to collab being like a smaller space, and we learned a lot of things about like how the show was then too, and just having a smaller indoor space to smoke is it's not good for your lungs yeah. <laughs> and right. um having learning about like the different vendors that we've had too like uh there's one show in particular that i can remember and we had ice cream like oh, yeah. infused ice cream okay. and the ice cream itself was like 100 milligrams 150 like Cold. the Ooh. fact that like we consume that and Kadeem when he ended the show he told everybody good afternoon <laughs> <laughs> it was 10 o'clock oh, at night so <laughs> lit uh. um, but I really do love this show and I, I knew that I loved it even before I met Kadeem like I saw this show and I was like oh my god this is cool because I also date this producer as well um and so when i first i also started comedy in 2021 in march of 2021 so like trying to find like a community or a tribe within the comedy scene in chicago um was something that like i was trying to do but it's kind of hard as a woman too Mm -hmm. and back in 2021 in like my single days like i was a stone um and so i remember having the conversation with my friends about 
or one of my friends in particular, like, I just started comedy. Like, I'm a really big stoner. I would really like to do, like, a, a cannabis comedy show, but I didn't know, like, you know, how that would go about. And I remember also, like, being on the date naps and stuff, and I actually saw Mr. Fuller here. <laughs> and I bam, swiped bam. left. I swiped <laughs> left. But Ugh. that's because he was too short for my liking. Um, but then... My very first show, so I performed, my very first show was in May, May 26th, I, I never forget dates, May 26th, 2021, so I had my very first show I performed, and then after the show, I saw that there was an open mic at this bar called My Buddies, mm -hmm. which was hosted by... Mr. Fuller. Oh, that was the Wednesday Night yeah. Lights days. That was yeah, Jokey Day. That was oh, Jokey, Jokey, Jokey Day. Day. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So I went in there and he was hosting and he and he cracked a joke and I was like, oh, the, sh <laughs> the short man is funny. And got him, he got him. <laughs> you gotta have jokes. You show it. You gotta. You yeah. Gotta, like, no. It for me when it comes to like dating people, it's the personality. Absolutely. So it's the fact that like he was able to like do that. And I remember whispering to my friend like, I think I. Oh. <laughs> Off one joke. What can I say? Off one joke. And you don't even say that joke anymore, yeah, which gotta, is the craziest I'm thing. Revamp it. I, don't, I got you. That was the whole point. I ain't got to. Yeah, but Aww. he was so clueless. It's the funniest part because I shot my shot and you just were like, shoot. Hey, I didn't, I didn't oh, even you shot your shot? How did Yeah, you shoot I your did. Shot, I said, hello, how are you? <laughs> it was and just that joking. is how black women shoot their shot. <laughs> Listen, first of all, the fact that you had words in shooting your shot, that is like top tier shooting your shot because also how black women shoot their shot is Lewis. That yeah, means, went, yeah. the, not even an eye wink, like I'm looking at you. I want you to see me looking at you. Yeah. And yep. then now you come over. Because if I don't look at you, that means don't look at me. Don't look but at if me. I look mm. at you, that means come talk to me. It's like psychology of a black woman exactly. right there. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But I also, I also like, you know, shot my shot in the DMs. Okay. Oh, this was a I double did, shot? I did. But Angie. again, he was, you know that little, that, that, that Instagram thing where it's like you, that little Spanish song. Da, 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 <laughs> that's literally... Kadeem. Bro, what's up? I know. I asked him you about know? chronic laughs. I was like, I'm interested in this. And he didn't follow me back. So I was a little salty about that <sighs> shit. On, on doing that time. So I, I, I approached wow. him at Jokey Oki. I was like, hey, look, I DM'd you and you don't follow me back. And I mm. need to know about this cannabis show, Chronic Laughs, because I'm a stoner and I'm just, you know, I want to get involved any way I can. So this was before the romantic part. I had my intentions on mm. being a part of it. She she's not telling the host though. She cornered me. <laughs> at okay. I did corner him. She cornered me. She's like, "Hey, listen!" And she <laughs> pointed her finger at I me. Hey, my height. I'm trying to get on this show. Okay. What you gonna do about it? I thought, oh, okay. wait a minute. Now I'm looking for backup. Like, what's <laughs> what's going on right now? Right. So you know, I ended up following her back, and then we started having conversations about the show. And then it became like, you know, what are you? What else are you interested in? What's your hobbies? Who you be with? Our okay. education, okay. our backgrounds yeah. were very similar. Yeah. So we went on our first date, and it was just like. It's been he thought it was the first date. I thought we were just hanging out, talk comedy. You don't want to. You shot your shot twice, that's, but you thought but it was just a business guy, meeting. Com comedians shoot their shot like you want to write. They <laughs> always that's, that's that. Shit, like he laughed because that's no, you want to write. It's you want to collab with some jokes? It's like nigga. Yeah, you, like, let, me, let me punch up your your your, your writing. Exactly, material. exactly. That's, I think you mm -hmm. definitely did try that. Or like any questions that you have? Yeah, I was going big bro into some. <laughs> Some good, some stuff. I'm trying to big bro. Let me be your. Yeah, don't be, don't big bro me. <laughs> he tried to mentor them draws off. <laughs> he tried to mentor. The them crazy off. thing is to the You're fact be that a he star. tried that. <laughs> <laughs> you should tell him more about the the date. Oh look, what part? I'm just, hey. The fact that you came over. And then you ate my edibles oh, and I you smoked my weed. Oh, y'all smoked all. It was, it was and wild. And he fell asleep on my couch and didn't leave. Like, this man left the next day. Man, uh, that was, I was, that just, was the first date? Yes. I'm like, I was on, I was it's, it's funny, too. I, hobo I, I just, Yeah, he was. I'm like, wow, this man doesn't know me from a pickle <gasps> or a dime. And <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and... I went in my room and I told him good night, but the fact that he fell asleep. We watched scary movies yeah, too. I'm actually a little disappointed in you because you should have robbed him. <laughs> like, like, like he would have woke up and not had a wallet fucking with me. And like I wouldn't even took anything. You it's think just so? like don't I, sleep over strangers' houses. Like we're right. one on one, I will rob you. You're right. I knew he so. had money, but like I didn't think it was like like I didn't think he was like, you know, city girls type shit. Like no, I didn't I didn't want to like it's not even about yeah, the money. Right. Like 
I mean, clearly it's, you was. It's about the lesson, you know, apparently. It's about the le- yes, it's right, about okay, the principality. Yeah. I should have done that, but you know what's crazy is the next day we got coffee, we went for a walk. I saw this dog in the neighborhood mm-hmm. that we would see. His name was Red, and Red nipped at Kadeem. And so I believe that dogs are very like they sense stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, this dog Red is t- trying to tell me some shit, oh, you wow. know, about him. And then his owner, what did, babe? What did his owner say? He's like Red, we don't do that here, Red. <laughs> we don't do that. He was and, a woke white man. And mind you, I'm oh. from the South, okay? I know racist dogs. That dog was that racist. racist. Was, that that yo, dog, no, because you... Red was looking at me like I was a suspect. <laughs> like, where was you knew. last night? Like, you mooched my couch. Maybe that's why Red maybe. was trying to tell me, like, maybe. get rid of It sounds like Red was an ex-police dog. And that's what it was. Maybe. Like, Red was like. cute. He smiled at my friend who's also black. Was she light skin? He is darker than him. Oh, my best friend. She, he's discriminated against brown skin. Whatever. <laughs> or no, um, I almost said our dog's name, but um, I think that when it comes to like Kadeem and like how he touches dogs, it, seems, it just comes off a little aggressive. And sometimes dogs are like, "Hey, buddy, <laughs> like don't do that. Do yeah, not do I'm that." Like, I do it. Come here, dog. Just a lot of Ugh. a lot of. Yeah, you know how things. like three-year-olds pet dogs all like aggressively yeah. that's kadeem as a 30 year old man okay yeah nah, <laughs> sometimes you gotta, you gotta give them a little stern petting they sometimes need to know you gotta get aggressive yeah you know. i love you <laughs> i love you so much <laughs> 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 okay. absolutely not okay. yeah so i mean um with chronic the the cool thing is it's morphed into so many different areas oh, um yeah. because of andrew we also have another producer shout out to my boy jamal jamal, jamal sanders really good guy we'll have him on the pod so we can talk about his experience he elevated the show to a to a bigger to level a new level um so we've had producers come through introduce certain things as we but there's always been a core mm-hmm. um so it started with like i said vendors it was very diy um we didn't have eventbrite we was charging five dollars at the dough like, five dollars five dollars well, we've definitely evolved since yeah then. so <laughs> now but then like i said it was just almost like the wild wild west it was during the pandemic we had um diy vendors come in so people had cookies and cakes that okay. are edibles and you know different things like that mm-hmm. um and then then we moved to collab which is like i said on the south side um it became like a hot box show so yeah. you could smoke weed in the area because okay. at, at pilsen it was outside yes. so you can enjoy that um and smoke as much as you wanted to yeah but with um collab it was just dank you know we did no ventilation system okay. it was very Ew. much wild yeah our lungs were it was basically like a tiny desk for a comedy show yeah. like of that it was cool it, was, it cool. was cool and shout out to collab for you know letting us do yeah. that being um, amazing guy um but we end up doing really well in that space we were there for um almost like six months yeah we were six months yeah and then we went to um chiba hut which is probably our first indoor show um okay. chiba hut very um very um amazing sandwich shop is is a franchise across the city across the country it's almost like um uh, it's almost like you know quiznos subway with okay. a weed element but better food i was gonna say quiznos like, is shitty i don't care nobody eats is quiznos there, is, there, is there a quiznos anymore no nah, i don't I think, think so. there might be one left. there might be one okay. or two but i didn't down. like that yeah, shit that quiznos. Like, so i don't want to disrespect chiba Hut like that but chiba Hut is amazing chiba Hut has so better way better better food like, way better food we're also gonna have the no. one of the owners of chiba Hut here <laughs> um on the yeah. pod soon um so he that was the first kind of like conversation around corporate sponsorship okay mm-hmm. so we were there for a couple of shows and then we end up going to the lincoln lodge um where we've included um the sesh bus Ooh. which is um, the sesh bus was sesh bus. that's a that's a word the sesh bus we in, we we introduced it at chiba Hut actually Actually. and oh, that, that was so that was our one of our largest shows at the, the, time. the first time we transitioned last may um to chiba hut we have had the sesh bus so we've actually been working with the sesh sesh bus, <laughs> 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 sesh bus for uh a year, a year, a complete year, okay. and it's crazy because the owner looks like Nipsey Hussle. Like, oh, it's really? so it's such a vibe. Like, okay, basically the sesh brush. <laughs> you get it. You get it soon. The sesh brush. Sounds this. like you're saying the sex bus, but the sesh <laughs> bus is a is a really cool um, bus where um, our 
the the people that are attending the show they get to come and they get to smoke before they attend the show so we have the bus come out like an hour or two before the show starts Mm -hmm. and if you buy your ticket that includes like you getting on the bus sometimes they have goodies depending on like the specific sponsors or the cultivators that we have that jamal it is our like connection with that and so um people also are allowed to bring their own cannabis okay to smoke on the bus Um, mobile dispenser dispenser on wheels and they have candy they have chips they have water so the last time uh the last show that we actually had all of the producers we all like took turns to get on the bus i only lasted for 15 minutes on the bus um i was lit the entire night um and then after that you got to perform stand-up so we got people in stand-up coming through so chronic laugh when you guys were at pilsen Mm -hmm. that was the very first time that i smoked weed and did comedy Mm. oh and i was like i smoke weed and i do comedy this can't be that hard right (laughs) put it together together. together. and so i remember i was there and i was like oh this is a vibe (laughs) and like everybody was smoking and i was like okay well i'm grown like Mm -hmm. i can smoke too Mm -hmm. and i remember i got a taco and i got some lemonade and both had THC in it. Both. Oh yeah, had I THC remember in that it. lemonade. And so I think I may even got like two tacos because the messed up part about it is also I was hungry. Mm. So <laughs> before I went on stage, I was like, okay, I'm gonna fuck one of these tacos up. <sighs> I ate the taco and then I think I had smoked. And then I went on stage. I think Kadeem was like, well, you got like 15 minutes. And I was like, cool. (laughs) And in my mind, I was up there for 22 minutes. (laughs) And when I got off stage, Kadeem said, you had about six minutes left. I I remember (laughs) that. I was up there. And like, it was, everybody was vibing with it. I was just like, yep. And it hit. Look I want to say good night. <laughs> Thank you. I'm done. Kadeem was like, you was killing what's wrong. Um, I also am high as shit. Then my mom was there. I remember she this. was high. Fucking um then the, it her was friends smoke. were there. Her they friend were was high. she was so zooted. Lit. Mm-hmm. Then then it was the smoke break. And then also like I'm like, I'm an adult. And you know, my mom has rule like don't smoke in front of your whatever. So then I went over there, it was like some other comedians, like we were smoking. And I remember by the time the fucking headliner got on, I was sitting in a chair like, Dear Lord, if you <laughs> if you let me make it home, I'll never do this some irresponsible <laughs> shit like this. And like also we had to show some people talking to me, mm-hmm. like, Oh, kills you did you killed it. Yeah. I was not there. <laughs> by the time I had got home, I had to process like oh, when I saw pictures, I was like, Oh, I didn't look that <laughs> like okay <laughs> I was not there you know it's bad when you had to do the stoner's prayer like Lord please I please, was Lord. so fucked up and then I was like okay literally while I was in the audience I was like he got something because also everything that everybody said was funny because I was high as a draft booger I'm like mm-hmm. ha, ha, <laughs> like ha and like dude hadn't even opened his mouth yet I was like no I'll wait I'll wait <laughs> you right <laughs> that's the best part I think that's the best part because you learn so much about yourself yep. high and yes. then doing stand ups which is a, a active act that you have to engage the crowd but when they're high you're high absolutely. it's like almost like a, a stoner session right absolutely um, but I remember that show Kels you you did a good 10 hey, minutes you I did a good I did a solid 10 minutes and I got off stage you went <laughs> I was eating my taco let me what you what, what going on but let me tell you something I did the exact opposite the next time you booked me when I was at collab I didn't smoke that entire day <laughs> when I came in people, I was like no no I will drink water <laughs> give me nothing drink nothing and then after I was done I was like okay I did the appropriate amount of minutes you did I'll, 15 minutes so I, was, I will take a taco now <laughs> that's funny after my work here is done we can do a man it's it's, it's, it's one of the best shows because yeah. every 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 crowd is different. We've yeah. had shows that have been too high. Yes. Like when you're too high, like that's the worst. We've had comics you don't move, that right? get anxiety too because mm-hmm. of smoke, okay. especially when it was indoors. But it's changed so much. I think that sometimes people might think that the comedians have to smoke. Okay. And you don't have to smoke so on the show, but I think the concept is mostly just performing in front of a high audience. Yeah. Meanwhile, we've had comedians that thought they were going to I don't know what they thought they were going to do, but they thought they were going to get these high people laughing and energetic. Yeah. But high people are the most lackadaisical. Yeah. If that's mm-hmm. a real word. Yeah. Um, lax, like, laughers. Like, they may be laughing, but they might also, like, stare at you. And Absolutely. so sometimes I host. Um, we have, like, a rotation. And so I hosted one time, and I remember this guy just, like, this. 
<laughs> soul. And I was just like, you're staring in my soul, sir. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I don't even know you. Like, are you trying to take me to dinner or something? <laughs> like, how are you staring in my soul? You, you trying to see what I'm doing next week? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Um, and there's definitely times where you think that it's so funny, like your joke, and then everybody's just like, because yeah. sometimes people laugh in their head. They're like, ha ha! Yes. Ha. It's in their eyes. Like, Absolutely. it's hilarious, but it's not coming out. Absolutely. No, that happened to me <laughs> that first. Yo. Um, shout out to Hunter Hirsch. Is that his name? Yeah. Uh, Hirsch. He was on that show that I was talking about at Pilsen. And he might have been halfway through his set. And the entire time I was laughing, but it wasn't audible yet. Because that taco <laughs> was fucking me up. <laughs> Damn. And he like got on the ground and did some shit. And I remember like when I actually audibly laughed, I was like, oh shit. Then I was like, oh, wait, I'm at a comedy show. That's <laughs> like, that's Can I laugh? I, like, I was like, okay, wait a minute. Is that okay? Okay, cool. But I'm like, no, it had nothing to do with him being funny. It was mm-hmm. just like, I am fucked up. And that's then after I, I laughed, I was like, okay, I can keep doing this as long as nobody's staring at me. <laughs> like, that's how high <laughs> I was. Paper bag. Just, <laughs> it was crazy. Oh like, I didn't think about, like, I wasn't asking nobody about milligrams. I was like, you get a taco. You get some lemonade. <laughs> All of the weed. And this will not affect me. I have no, no idea. Oprah. I know how. You're right. We did, we, there was no nutritional value. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it was just like, wrong. this is how much this costs. Do you have it? Okay. Oh, okay. my gosh. I just remembered at the Pilsen Art House, there was a vendor that sold THC uh, lube. Lube, yeah. yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I, I remember one time, I just put it on. Like, you know. Okay, what did it do? Uh, well, it didn't get me high in that moment, but <laughs> I, I went out somewhere and I was like, why am I so fucked up? up right oh, now it actually got you high and not just like your nooch yeah okay. uh, yeah i mean if my pussy was <laughs> i mean like how does, i don't know like, it's I already said, high i'm tall <laughs> first of all first of all, first of all what the fuck is a nooch listen what is yeah, a i nooch? never said that before okay <laughs> it's a word from new orleans and I also know. it's when you don't want to be vulgar and be like mop Oh, you know, uh, stuff like that. Cooch Nooch cat. Yeah, my, my mom used to call it a tookie. A tookie. Yeah. You gonna laugh at Nooch? And we walking around here naming our vagina after old school criminals. My mom was a co- is a Caucasian tookie woman. So. Sounds like a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> tookie got a criminal record. My tookie is tookie a Tookie job. Exactly. He got a cracked leather jacket. Like, this is terrible. <laughs> play, play, say slim. <laughs> say slim. He sell Rolexes out of his sleeve. Like, Tookie's oh, a terrible. Oh, man. But yeah, that, that lube was wild. Cool. It, okay. it was. It, I, it but didn't we hit. Did it, it, it didn't, didn't hit. afterwards, though. We thought yeah. it was going to do something. You got to time it out right because we was oh already 45 minutes. We in the crazy. store, like, oh, I'm feeling you feeling <laughs> now. That was an hour was like, ago. Shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was the wildest thing. Uh, That's an interesting type of. Okay. Oh, it was. I, I was gone. I was hanging out with friends. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> where am I? Now, granted, she used half the bottle. She was, I'm going to get I my money. I did not. <laughs> I don't need half the bottle, boo. Ugh, like, come he on, trying baby. it, trying it. Also, okay. that's how we... <laughs> I was going to say, my pussy is not that long. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> Making oh, me God. feel like I got an axe-throwing pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, no. Let's see how far the route is. Okay. No. Um, oh, baby, you good. Thank you so much. <laughs> you good, man. All right. <laughs> I do have a favorite I'm a fan. memory. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> ten out of ten. Do recommend. Jesus. All right. Fuck K and Y. We're gonna get that T H T. I'm telling me to patent that. Oh my god. Okay. Um. So talking about the shows, what are your top three favorite episodes between the two of you guys? I'm gonna let my. I'm gonna let Andrew go. First. Um. So because we like rotate a lot of times of like the different shows and like different things i would definitely say i think even though i didn't host it i think that like our last show was like really fun Mm -hmm. um but that's because like i was the door i was feeling good i was making people happy i was lit and he hosted and he did a great job hosting it was amazing um our headliner shout out arlita hall she was Mm -hmm. the headliner she did an amazing job and the i think it was my favorite because we had like two people that came to Lincoln Lodge to see another show mm-hmm. and I, you know they came to us thinking that it was the show that they were supposed to go to and I'm checking their IDs because we have to check IDs cuz you have to be 21 and up to attend the event and I'm looking on Eventbrite for their names and I don't see them and I was like oh you're here for the wrong show but then I told them I was like hey but you know we have a smoke bus we have this and they were like 
sign us up like you know and then oh. after the show like they came up to us and they were like this was the best night of our lives we're so happy we did it like the, the girl even though i get a little jealous sometimes but the girl came up to kadeem and hugged him and you know you would have yeah. thought like we gave her a brand new car or something but like we changed <laughs> lives here at chronic labs i, I love guess. that it was amazing that was, that a, was that was a top tier moment for me it was a fun show it was a lot of fun um it looked like they were arguing before. That's what yeah, the, it looked okay. like. Oh, with that, okay. you know, they were about to break up. They were just, <laughs> y'all saved a relationship. Yeah. A relationship. We probably had people that. hook up from the show yeah. too. Yeah. I, okay, I, I she, would imagine. She hugged me like we needed this. Oh, 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 y'all about to break up tomorrow without this show. <laughs> she put her wedding ring back on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you saved us. Oh. Yeah, no. Um, I definitely say. Um, I would even say. Dang, we've been at Lincoln Lodge for a while too. Yeah, I'll tell you my favorite. Okay. I think this was the this year, um, the Women's History Month. Yes, we okay. had a show. We had two amazing um, headliners. We had um, we had Chris and Toomey, Erica as well Nicole, as Erica Clark. Nicole Clark, like a oh, double yeah. headliner. Both of them women are amazing. And Andrew was hosting, and I think oh, yeah. we had completely sold out. I think we oversold out. We had yeah. like over 115 people in the Lincoln Lodge. All right. And seeing Andrew host it, like she's been hosting for a decade, was something cool to see because of um, knowing that she she started recently. So yeah. she's always she's starting to feel her feel herself as a comic. Okay. So I think that was my favorite part, just to see her be in that moment and then host the hell out the show. Okay. Cool. Cool. That Aww. make me tear up. That was that was a fun event, and I think I was I was just so excited because. Um, even the 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 sponsor that we had for that show was super cute, fetch and girly too. Like, um, mm -hmm. do you remember the name of the sponsor? Edie Parker. Edie Parker. Yes. So she actually used to be like a clothing designer, but then ended up getting into the can cannabis industry. Ooh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> can drink this water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. But yeah, those are my, those are some of my favorites. We had amazing show. We had one with um just niche. Okay. Um, we sold that out. Oh, um, but that was it was a good show. But at, all of our vendors at the time like didn't come. It was so bad, but it ended up being a good show. The chronic laughs without the chronic. Nobody yeah, else. Yeah, so that was that was something. Um, I would. I'm trying to think of like one of my like top 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 favorites. We've had so many that were like really good, and then there's some that are like, oh, this is this was this was great. This was great. memorable. That's I can tell you the worst experience. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought I you were gonna talk one. about the 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 <clears throat> hottest day of the year. Do oh show. shit, yeah. Um, so this was a movie that Chiba Hut, right? This okay. was last year. Um, it was during the hottest day in Chicago, right? When they they had to put the sprinklers on, people okay. were struggling during that time. Um, we had to show, um, it was at Chiba Hut, like I said, so that was water and everything. Mm. Um, it was our first time, one of our first time using the Sesh bus, so people didn't understand that you can go on oh. and smoke, smoke, smoke. At that time, like now we've changed it up where you get 30 minute increments. Okay. But at that time, people were just smoking for hours, right? Oh. And this, one of the, one of the women that we had, she was a, she was an audience member. Um, so we start the smoking at seven to like nine, and then the show starts at nine, right? Okay. So by 8.45, <laughs> Um, she went to the bathroom, oh, right? She actually pushed like past me. Like as we were yeah. about to start, I was hosting that too, and I got too high. So that was awkward. Yeah. Um, so we, everybody was high she was that time. Fucked up, but she, was she wasn't just high. She was drunk too. Yeah. So Ugh. basically, she went into the bathroom and shit on herself. Stop. Okay, Kadeem. Yeah. And all <clears throat> everywhere. Kadeem. Dude, I thought Brian it was everywhere. pretty funny. <laughs> but when booty hole brown. <laughs> You feel real, real posture. It was like a chocolate, but really wonky. She, she had a skirt on too. This was is here. No, this is a Chiba, Chiba hat. Oh, Chiba hat. So I didn't even know about it until the owner of Chiba hut said, "Hey." Yeah, this, he whispered in my ear. He's like, "I gotta clean up this shit." Wait a minute. She did it on herself. On herself, did she come back to the show? No, no, no. no. She had to go home. She got a little white. They had to help her out. She had to get a little moist towelette. Get you. Yeah. Got to get up out of here. I felt bad because I'm pretty sure a, a manager of a sandwich shop never intends to clean up actual actual shit sandwich. Yeah, like 
We had to have people sign waivers. People are passing out, are you, what? not eating beforehand. Yeah, coming but you and know smoking. when it's hot, like we're not a music yeah. festival. You have to drink water, and like if you're in a restaurant, you should be drinking water. In summertime, you should be drinking water anyway. Yeah. If you're smoking, you should be drinking water. Yeah, that was the first time yeah. we really realized like this. We ain't, this is just us. If Man. something happens, she had to pass out and you know Bust pass away with boo boo on her face. Wow. Yeah. We would have been shit. Literally yeah. got out of control. Literally, yeah. out of literally. Out of it was control. like what was that shit? last year the woodstock that's mm-hmm. what it, it felt like woodstock but like minimal although we were prepared i think it was her she yeah was, she yeah she passed out that was that was the most memorable experience that's insane okay um that also probably would have been my last day with the show but y'all kept going <laughs> we kept like going. what we did a lady if just you can't go to a show and shit on yourself <laughs> what can you can't. but that's a, that's a new level okay. of like fucked upness you know I like mean, you know I think that now, just coming out of a pandemic, a lot of people, they lost yeah. that ability to, like, go out and have a good time. Yeah. Like, I remember even going to a club and there was piles of throw up. I'm like, damn, y'all, like, y'all, you don't get mm-hmm. that lit before you go to the actual place. If you're going to get too lit, don't leave. And mm-hmm. also, though, depending on how you cope with the pandemic, like, some people either got really high and yeah. really drunk or they didn't at all. So then when they started back, it's like your tolerance it's just is just like, like going back to college. Uh, yeah. I going freshman year. Yeah. Oh, it it's changed. crazy. It changes up. Okay. That's okay. So tell me about producing woes that you guys may have run into producing a show like this. Um, well, we date. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so how is that producing as a couple too? Yeah. Um, it's all about balance. Mm-hmm. I would say. Um, I think a lot of times we'll find ourselves just talking comedy or talking about things that we could do better. Um, and then it's just like, oh, well, you know, we need to do uh like date night or something like that. And then I think just the simple fact of like us being different types of stoners i feel like like i think i'm the real stoner okay. in the relationship okay and what kind of stoner are you the other real stoner <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a fake stoner. stoner okay well tell what's your definition of real stoner um uh, because when we first like started dating i used to outsmoke him and stuff and i just felt like i was a i was a big dog like Okay. I was that girl. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm also not that girl because I call myself a bowl bitch. Oh, a bowl. I'm smoking a bowl. I'm smoking I don't joints. Know how to roll. Okay. I'm smoking blunt. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I like my lips, baby. Oh. So okay. this is my best asset. My oh. <laughs> so, yeah, she, 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 she can. She can't smoke with the best of them. I okay. will say Man, that. I used to take bitches down. Okay. In the circle. <laughs> I had a smoke Olympics too before I met him, and we just kept passing. It. We bought an ounce, passing it till people just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't smoke no more. How did that work? And also, did you have activities to do the next day? No, okay. I didn't. But I would really like to revamp it and actually mm. have activities of Ooh. like, you know, us doing an edible and seeing how much or who spends the most at Target. <laughs> Because I'm gonna opt out of that. I'm gonna opt out of that every time. Every time. Lost five hundred dollars. Man, and can't tell you why. (laughs) Flip flops all over flip flops. Like no, I can't. No, thank you. Five hundred dollars with the flip flops. (laughs) I can't. mm -mm. The next day you return it. My bad. I'm sorry. (laughs) Boop. (laughs) Boop. Can I get that in cash or the flip flops? Man. Oh, another woo that I just thought of that I think happens often is um, creating the lineup. Mm, okay. I definitely say that because there are times where like you know there's just certain times where we're like is that who you thought yeah <laughs> no okay. that's not what we're gonna do so yeah, especially being <laughs> stoners part. and knowing like what you want to laugh at when you're high mm-hmm. how does that go into you guys creating a lineup that's a good question that's a really good question yeah I think for me, um, I try to only book people who've made me laugh, um, <laughs> which is good, which is the that's, that's the, the best a, way. I'm not booking my friends or people who right. generally made genuinely made me laugh and us laugh. Um, and then I'm open to just expanding the the show to different type of comedy. We've had people do singing. We had deadpan. We had energy. Um, Calvin er- comedy. Uh, yeah, interactive comedy. <laughs> Calvin <laughs> Evans, great stand up. Oh, yeah. He did the piano. Yeah, that was um, a couple. Um, like last year so I'm open to any and everyone as long as you have um, you know number one that you're a stoner and you know how to deal with stoners because that's okay. the worst part if you don't smoke it's a weird environment and knowing how to maybe get a laugh from people who may be physically too stoned yeah. to know what you're doing yeah okay agreed agreed 
Okay. So, um, <clears throat> you know, we always rate the things that we review out of five blunt raps. Even though you guys are the producers, what would you give Chronic Laugh out of you five go over this criteria. What is okay, what right, okay. blunt raps? What are the five blunt raps? Hold on. It was creativity. Creativity. Right. A vibe. The vibe. Oh, okay. The, vibe the cost. There. The cost, which, okay. And then what was the other? The potency, right? The potency. Mm. Which, okay. That hits. And then what was the other one? The other one was um, wow factor, right? Yes, the wow factor. So those are the five requirements, criteria for the five blunt raps. What would you give Chronic, Andrew, for the five blunt raps? Well, this isn't... Or how many blunt raps out of five? How many blunt raps? Yeah. I'm going to give it five blunt wraps, of course. This isn't like my job where they tell you, don't rate yourself high. No, I'm going to rate myself <laughs> high because I put my life in for this. I you know, know that's like, right. We work really hard and like we definitely try to uh, put on a good show. And I think it's, it is cool. Even though there have been woes, there have also been like really good moments especially yeah. like the fact that like i was able to meet somebody date somebody and then like be a co-producer with them and like make some make some shit shake you know and not mm-hmm. keith but you know we made some <laughs> shit shake that and was a good one i like that yeah. i like that i like that one that was good i like keith too <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah i would yeah i would i would agree five you know and when i started the show before i even had the producers like how can i make money off the industry, right? Because mm-hmm. you know, black folks ain't getting money off listen, this, right? So I'm gonna lie, can I make money? I need okay. my money. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Actually, even with you saying that, so what were your expectations when you first started the show versus what they are now? Um. I don't think I had much expectations at okay. that point. To be honest with you, I I knew I wanted to combine weed and um comedy, and then whatever happens happens. Um. I was blessed to have a bunch of producers currently like jamal andrew even our old producers that are no longer with the show through various things um introduce a logo introduce like eventbrite like i would be waiting by the door when i first started like hopefully somebody come i don't know who are coming and it was five dollars now like um you know the money is up there now we you know 15 to 20 dollars but we have so many corporate sponsorships um and it's a vibe now but starting at five dollars and just watching it evolve till now um um, this is, this show has been the best because I've learned about how to be a producer, how to mm. be a team member, um, and just always making sure that the audience gets what they want. Because at the end mm-hmm. of the day, we pushing a product. I look yeah. at you know, chronic laughs is you know a strand of weed, right? If it's good, people gonna keep coming back to it. But if it's if you serving Reggie, it's gonna be, you know people ain't coming back. Yeah, okay. and it's funny because he actually refers to Chronic Laughs as his baby. Aww. I'm not his baby. He refers Aww. to it as his baby. You're my baby well, too, baby. baby. I, know. I can have more than one baby. I know, but I I, I do I love this show. <laughs> I think that the product is, is is really good. And I I do a lot of the show because, like, my, my sister that passed, she was, like, a big smoker. And so, like, I, I sometimes I, like, dedicate it to her. Like, oh, I'll perform. Beautiful. And, I don't, like, I hope it makes, like, her happy or, like, you know, my family and, like, people in Chicago. Even people that, like, I don't fuck with no more. But <laughs> <laughs> to all my haters. Yeah. All my haters. That part. Don't make me mm-hmm. start doing the shoddy little dance. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fun fact. Did y'all know shoddy low was dead? Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. I did not know. Can I tell you when I found out? When did you find out? Please. Uh, days ago. Oh, like, I thought you were going to say two years ago. No. I was going to say, girl. Two yeah, days two ago. Three, four years. No. He's been dead longer than that. 2016. Yeah, it's oh, been wow. really I longer. was inconsolable for about 45 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Nobody no. told me I nothing. I literally <laughs> said that. Nobody told me nothing. <laughs> not shorty low they supposed to know and i didn't know like what is this you didn't know that? i didn't know and he got a song saying they know yeah and they, and know. they didn't, didn't know. know they didn't know, didn't know. and Nobody he yelled at me, me about patrick swayze being dead i knew he was she dead patrick swayze was dead because I, I did i don't I think did. she knew i don't think she knew who patrick did. swayze was he, because i've been she trying lived to get him. he lived and died no, at the I same time it, for her. whatever i was trying to get him to watch too long food because it was a classic when i was growing up but he refuses to watch it i I don't know why. You can ask him, but I'm trying to get high and watch it, you know, oh, as an adult. So we'll be because be being an adult and oh watching movies from, like, the 90s and, like, late 80s, there's a lot of, like, cringe shit. Mm-hmm. Very cringe. Okay. Um, so, tell us where we can find um, Chronic Laugh. Uh, any information? If I want to come see Chronic Laugh, what's up? Yeah. So, uh, Chronic Laughs is actually once a month at Lincoln Lodge. It's the last Tuesday of the month. And um, you can find us at Chronic Laughs Comedy 
on Instagram. And are we allowed to say like where we're gonna be in August? Um, let's hold we're gonna announce it. Okay, oh, that's a secret. So just follow away. the page, and you'll see the secret soon. Okay, okay, yeah. we're good. Um, before we wrap it up, we do want to ask the audience some questions. The first question we want to ask is, um, would you attend a comedy show where everybody's just basically blitz out of their mind? <laughs> okay, and two, how often do you do something either for your profession or activity? Hi, mm. and bless out of your mind. Okay, you guys can leave us a comment under the reel. Leave us a comment um, wherever you are watching this, under the podcast, on YouTube. Send us a email to canitbereal at gmail.com. Yeah, all that fun stuff. Uh, any last? This has been fun. Thank okay. you, Andrew. For oh, this is a thank blast. Thank you, Andrew. I had a great time. We appreciate it. Yeah. It's just That's like chatting. My co-host, my mm-hmm. love, you know, my, my ride home, all that good stuff. <laughs> my ride home. That's what this has been the whole time, bro. That's it. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. I'm Kadeem, mm-hmm. a.k.a. Bama Burner, a.k.a. Loud, never quiet, and then my co host Kells the Comic, aka Blow Real Wars. <laughs> I got an aka son, guys. <laughs> and thank you to our guest, Andrew Austin, uh, aka Dreezy out this bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we out. Yo, you can pull to the kick back. We know what you want in here. All the grease is colder than my ex pussy. You can still that. What do you know in here? Don't know what you with your girl stairs. She wanna, I'm a hit that. Come on, marijuana. All these niggas wanna smoke. You can sell it if you wanna. You can flip that. Baby, do a last and go kick back. Baby, you can pull to the kick back.